Oh, but Nenu's got himself set up, huh? So Nenu is ready to jump back in here. And again, what a wonderful story. And shout outs to Nenu's friend as well, who was awake at seven in the morning to help him out. <laughs> That's the secret story. hero. <laughs> yeah, again, this story is so fantastic, but we'll see how the story concludes. If it concludes here and we get a brother versus brother match, or if we really do just yeah. get the, the underdog story of the year for the Classic Tetris World Championships. All right, here we go. So we're going right. to get this going to happen. Uh, Nenu with that big smile. Just uh, love seeing it. He's uh, He's ready. Second. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Tetris. 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 All right. Here we go. And it. Everything seems to be in order. Whatever magic happened to <laughs> uh, get him to uh, uh, change venues like that. I just hope right now that uh, you know he is not like you know a little bit winded or just like you know i hope it doesn't throw off his game or anything like that let's let's hope he can play this uh just fine here but uh looks like they're both gonna start off with the tetrises over there simul tetris essentially and then new looking good but pixel andy of course here says that's a nice story but i want the story of the brothers going up against each other that is the story he wants to see, and that is the story he is trying to facilitate right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boom Tetris for Nenu. And uh, Pixel Andy with a very clean play field right now. A very nice play field. All right. Yeah, still early on. Pixel Andy at 117, and. Uh, Nenu at 98k. Neck and neck. But yeah, Nenu firing back. Nenu with this change of venue. Thanks to uh, the power outage going off. Going out in his place. But at his friend's house now. Trying to get into grand finals. If we wanted more of a Rocky Balboa kind of story. Couldn't get one right. You couldn't write this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh... I mean, I guess every year we have, um, you know, something dramatic happen and, you know, just uh, making this championships work. Uh, it's just a testament to everybody just trying hard and uh, doing their best to, uh, I guess, to put on a good show and uh, to, yep. to share their passion of the game. All right. So you can see right here, right now, Pixel Andy starting with a 78% Tetris rate here. He's got a 40,000 point lead. Uh, Nenu at 64%. So they're both still at max out pace. But uh, right now, Andy with a significant lead in terms of rate. But yeah. having to drop that piece in a very odd position right now. But actually, perfect piece is coming up for him right now to clean that field out and boom Tetris for Andy. And uh, Nenu just. Um Doing a couple of skims there. He had a little hole to fill up in his deck. Nothing major at all. Nanu playing super clean otherwise. All right. Yeah, right now, Nanu just still playing. Because remember, in the first match that we saw in the day, Nanu played really, really safe. And it mm -hmm. paid off for him in the end. A lot of the times, you know, he just kind of outlasted his opponents. Right. And uh, let's see if that can uh, benefit him here again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's that the, the tenacity and uh, just, uh, yeah, being able to stay alive. You know, did that, you know, a lot in, in um, the road to top eight. And it seems to be serving him well now. Yeah. One of the scary things right now, though, is that, you know, that may have worked against a lot of the other players before, but this is Pixel Andy, and Pixel Andy, yeah. obviously, such a strong player. And um, you know, as uh, as Dog said, you know, very similar in uh, skill level. I uh, can't even say definitively. So, you know, what we're gonna have to do is uh, this will have to be the stage where we find out. Then, then they'll be able to say one way or another, definitively. Okay, Andy. 
still on a above 70 yeah. rate. And uh, Nenu here having to do a little bit of burning and cleaning here. Yeah, Andy uh, up by 50,000 points at 410,000 points to Nenu's 356. Hmm. A little bit unfortunate pieces for Nenu right there, having to set himself a gap over there right now. But he'll get back in there and actually got the... Oh! He did not drop that piece in there. That was interesting. I thought he was going to go for that there. And uh, Ooh, Andy dumping stuff high on the left. Oh, he's going to be able to clear this. Whoa, that is dangerous. Oh my. Forcing himself oh, okay. to burn there, but on the skin of his teeth, able to burn those down. You know, just yeah. frames away from, from hanging something there. So he is now good, but that was dangerous right there. That could have definitely been uh, a top, an early top out for Andy, but who surviving that one? Yeah, that was r super risky, and there wasn't, you know, really uh, a situation where he needed to like gore big and go aggressive to uh, open the well at all costs like that. But he's able to survive it, so you know, sometimes players not push their own limits like that and uh, end up surviving. Yeah, and not only that too, but he didn't really lose pace on the lead either. You can see yeah. here that he still has, he's still up by 56,000 points. Transition a, hit just now. Yeah, and, a be, and not a clean transition for uh, Andy at all. But he's trying he to burn his way through yeah. there. Yeah, he was able to burn that out um, relatively Oof. quickly. So uh, able to adjust even though his stack wasn't ideal. Yeah, but look at that. It has given... Nenu the chance to catch up now. Nenu, nice tuck, and Tetris right there. So he's basically one Tetris behind now. And uh, an awkward stack right here for Andy. He's forcing himself to do some more burns, so he's gonna go for a dirty and Tetris well. and boom, there boom, got it. For Andy. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, nice center well Tetris there for Andy. And uh, Still maintaining a slight lead, now a bigger lead, six to six hundred or sixty-four thousand point lead, six hundred fifty-eight thousand points to Nenu's six twenty-one. But it's still basically only a one Tetris lead, and Nenu getting some good pieces here for himself. There you go. But has to create a gap over there, so he's going to try to clear that out. He can't. And he's hitting another out. Tetris, yeah. So Nenu's got to dig back down to get back in the scoring yeah. position. Who high speed? Perfect. Nice clears there. Yeah, great pieces for Nenu right there, and he's gonna get to the Tetris. He's at a 57% rate, Andy's at a 62% rate. So that means Andy is definitely still in the lead. He's leading by about 60,000 points right now. And actually 30,000 points now. He's got a hole in his stack though. Yep. And uh, okay, he's waiting for a good piece to clear that with. And that can solve him right now. Yeah, he, he got the right pieces to solve that, that T. Yeah, really intelligent uh, building there by Andy, for sure. Uh, Andy at 761 and Nenu at 707. So, uh, but Andy jumping up, uh, 85,000 point lead now at 792. Yep. And, oh my goodness, and there we go. Boom, Tetris for Nenu. So at this point in time, he's with 25, at level 25, Nenu has enough time to keep going, but I think he needs Ooh. to have... There's uh, some holes in Andy, oh no. he hangs up. Oh. Nenu is in a chase down situation and needs 827,000 points uh, to take this game. So just a Tetris and change from Nenu will win this. And he's at level 26, he's got some time to do it. Yeah, and he's playing pretty he's safe play right now. Well. No, he's going to go for the double and burn down. But yeah, he's only need uh, just the Tetris and change. I, I think he's right on the line where the Tetris will do it if he gets Yeah, there. so he's waiting for the long piece. Where is oh, the long piece? Is. He's going to have to piece. burn that. Oh, yeah, he has to get something to the left, like, desperately. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. no. He just and missed yeah, the Yeah, doesn't... The long bar didn't come, and uh, yeah, the, the the trash on top just snowballed, and he wasn't able to burn it down. Yeah. So Andy's going to take that first game. All right. Here we go. Game number two. 
Nenu versus Andy. This is to get into the grand finals. Are we going to get the story of stories right here for Nenu getting into grand finals? Or is it going to be brother versus brother in the end? Nenu's got some tucks set up there. Let's see what he does with that. Yeah, he's got a very unfortunate start here for himself. Uh... Going to be able to get through it, but it's just not going to be a pretty setup, unfortunately, for him. Nicely done not to cover up that hole. Is he really? Is he trying to go for a... No, he can't. He can't. He yeah, skips okay. that off the top. Yeah. So he's, yeah. he's cleaning it up. It's not the most elegant clear, but it gets the job done, and uh, he's Tetris yeah. ready again. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Boom, Tetris for Nenu. And uh, he's at a 28% rate, but that's just at the start. You can see Pal up to 44 right away. Meanwhile, Andy starting at an 84% rate. So he's doing so well right now. Right. Yeah, Andy uh, up by one Tetris now. Look at this board for Andy. It's so clean. I'm not going to get a Tetris off of that one because getting down one of the lines. There we go. Now Nenu is Tetris ready. And a tuck right there. Right. And boom, Tetris oh, for Nenu. Tetris for up, Nenu. up to 53% now, down by 40,000 points. Uh-oh. Now 60,000 with that. Yeah, and he had a miss, miss drop right there. And again, the line bar comes one too, one too late for him. So he's going to have to do some burning, unfortunately. So yeah, looks like go. he's uh, exp expediting that burn there, and uh, yep. he's getting it done. But um, Andy's starting to bang down Tetris as the lead has grown to about 100,000 points now. Andy at 210k versus Nanu at 110. Yeah, Nanu is not... Okay, actually, here we go. Those are some good pieces that he just needed right there. Actually, that's perfect. Perfect. Now he needs something to drop over there in column 10. Is he waiting for the long yeah. bar? He got oh, it. But he got the long bar, but he hangs the Z there, so he's going to have to deal with burning that off now. And he does. And uh, good pieces again. there for that clear. But again, the problem is, actually, those were perfect pieces right there. The problem is now his Tetris rate, 28%. So he is not in a great position right now. Ooh. Oh, and a couple of missed drops again. The nerves now are starting to get to him. He's back to the Tetris, but look at this. 133,000 points down. What he has to do now is just play conservatively and maybe just hope for Andy to get an early top out at this point because he's behind a lot in terms of score. Yeah, well, luckily they're still on 18, so... A lot can happen between now and the transition, so um, might be good for them to play it by ear and uh, and respond. Uh, I, I think Nenu's going to try to get as many Tetris as he can before transition, and uh, then we'll see if he needs to play super aggressive once it speeds right. up. Not only that, too, but Andy's board has been really unfortunate. He has been getting kind of some bad RNG for himself right here. Uh, finally gets himself open up for Tetris again. Okay, he's set up and ready to go. Just needs that long bar here. Is he going to run into a drought? Yep, here's another drought coming up. What's he going to do? All right. Out. 17. Oh, there we go. Finally, boom, Tetris boom, for Tetris Andy. Is. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see, because he was playing so high up... Uh, Nenu's ended up being about four lines ahead of Andy right now, but he is down by 130, 13,000 points. But again, really kind of unfortunate build right now for Andy. And it skimmed off a couple of singles. So yeah. Andy maintaining his lead, uh, 113,000 point lead, 394K versus Nenu at 305 now after you getting that you got that tetris there right. uh, but still a lot of work to do and to be honest with you I, andy can absolutely afford to play a little bit more conservatively right now and look at that he's burned all the way down with a couple of great tetrises for himself so nenu at 42 percent rate mm -hmm. andy at 65 percent rate which gives uh andy 94 000 point lead right now 
Yeah, Nenu's uh, recovered quite well. I mean, he's been pretty much making Tetris uh, as much as possible. Yeah, he, he's and, got an uh, awkward build right now. Yeah, and, long uh, bar. transition is coming, but um, he's trying to maximize. Wonder what he's going to do with that. He's going to yeah, he goes for column yeah, seven. He goes for Boom. it. Nice. That, that nice. just for Nanny on column seven. He knows that he needs to. He knows that he needs those points right now. Because last time, remember, he was in a chase down situation and he couldn't accomplish it. So if he gets put into a chase down situation again, he needs those points. There's the transition. And boom, Tetris for Nanny. Yeah, both players hitting the transition now. And look at this. I mean, actually, he's nine lines ahead. So even though he's only down by 67,000, that lead is significantly higher than it actually is right uh -huh. now. Yeah. Andy at 574K, Nenu at 487. 88,000 point difference, according to the numbers. <laughs> yeah, waiting for that long bar, but guess what? He got hit by another drought. But he's Tetris ready again. Nicely done for Nenu. Gets himself that after that big long drought. So again, one of the advantages of playing behind is you know that your opponent had a big long drought who's ahead of you. So, you know, this is something that Andy could use to his advantage and play a little safe here. Because the drought is going to hit him about right now, too. And, uh, yeah, Andy continuing to play aggressive, too. Just uh, keeping those wells open as much as possible, not letting up. Actually, interestingly enough, uh, Andy has caught up in, in lines, basically. Well, he was just for a second there. Mm. And so the score is actually now fairly close. And he's caught up a bit now. He's within yeah. two Tetrises. Now one. Yeah. With but a, yeah, like you said, it's I had my line. line. Yeah, the yeah. lines kind of do matter at this point. And he's got holes in the stack. He's going to be digging for a while. Uh, he, this is an opportunity now for Nenu. He can definitely make this comeback here if he plays carefully. Yeah, we're neck and neck. Score wise, yeah. at least. Look at this. Wait a minute. After that rough start for Nenu. But now he Nenu up by 30,000 points. Now 60,000 points. 764,000 to Andy 703. Nenu coming back in a big way. And yeah. Andy still burning. Doing a great job at burning, but he's creating more holes as he's filling them. And uh, Andy could be in trouble here. Can't get anything to the left. All of a sudden, Nenu now with a six-digit lead over Andy. Holy cow. What a yes. comeback. The situation's reversed now. And uh, Nenu drilling back down, having just some slight digs, but banging down Tetris like crazy as well. Uh, Nenu at 840k, Andy at 733. Nenu up by 140,000 points. And he still has such a clean play field. Another Tetris for Nenu. He's up by 170,000. And as we uh, approach level 29 here, uh, Nenu's got one line to give, but you got to do it with a Tetris going into kill screen here. 983,000 points. Andy is 200,000 points behind 781,000. And okay. let's see if Andy can do any kind of post. 29 play no, to no, make up no. Nope, and Nanu's gonna run away with that. What 199,000 point difference. What a comeback. That is that probably one of the biggest score gap comebacks we've ever seen in the history of the CTWC. I, before this match started, I, I, I asked if, you know, him transferring houses and going somewhere else and might have thrown him off his game. We have a definitive answer here. It definitely has not. Nenu with game number two in dramatic fashion right there with the comeback. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Game Fury number three. Game three. And, and you yeah, know what? Nenu with the exclamation point on that. Oh, yeah. Um, go on, James. Let's hear it. No, the question right now is, is uh, how is this going to affect Andy here to have that kind of a comeback? Is is this going to shake him or is he going to be able to, to withstand that and just be like, cool, good job. That was one game. 
now I'll take you out. Yeah. You know, you, that's the, that's you become the, super aggressive now, knowing that Nenu's got that and him. And mm -hmm. uh, I would say, you know, that's the closest we've seen to someone um, doing um, dog style aggression uh, post 19 speed, just turning on the heat like that. And uh, Nenu can do it too. Nenu, once again, from Indonesia, the only international player that we have here at the CTWC this year. And he is doing the thing right now. You can see this right now. He has a 95% Tetris rate. You know, I also got to wonder what that does for Nenu's confidence. Is this just going to make him feel so much calmer and more comfortable? 96%. Yeah, I mean, um it's playing in an environment he might not be used to, so just maybe a game under your belt to uh, get warmed up and, you know, time to uh, turn it on. Well, you know, it's the craziest thing. You watch Tetris Effect, right? And you see all the, 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 you know, sparks and all of the, you know, everything going on in the lights. But when you play it, you don't see any of that. And that's probably what's happening with Nenu right now. You know, he's just so focused in on the game right now. It is just him and the blocks. And he is playing absolutely fantastic here. Oh, at the last second, putting pulling that square piece back. Here we go. Setting him. He's got to do a little burn here. This is Andy's chance to catch up here because Nenu's yeah. got some big holes in his stack now. Yeah. Uh oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. Can he squeeze a piece Ooh. all the way over there? No. It's I the think snowballing. It's... Yeah. I think yeah, this I don't might think be anything it. left over, and that's going to be a really pop up. And yeah, uh, Nenu with 232. So the score to beat is 232, and he's at 217. Yeah, uh, he just needs uh, one Tetris right here. He's just waiting for the long bar at this point. He doesn't even really need the long bar if he doesn't want to. So yeah, I see him playing safe, and there you go. Oh, Tetris, Tetris for Andy, Andy, there you go. Taking All round right. three. So Andy's up one game, and uh, in a best of five series, this is a match point situation with Andy with the advantage. Nenu needs to win this one to stay in the match. Ooh, man, okay, okay. But yeah, definitely shout outs to the Tetris company. You know, having their direct support like this for the event, mm -hmm. offering the prize pool to the players like that. Shout outs to all of the people involved at the Tetris company. Of course, you know, uh, the story of Tetris getting over here with Hank Rogers working with uh, Alexei Pajnetnov to get it to America in the first place. Hank Rogers then being the CEO of the Tetris company, passing it along to his daughter, Maya Rogers. And uh, it's just, it's another one of those fascinating, amazing stories. If you guys actually haven't heard the story of how, you know, Hank Rogers helped get Tetris to America and to a point where Alexei Pashinov could actually, you know, be rewarded for the property that he created here. All right, here All we right. go. Round four, Andy up one point, and Nenu needing to stay in this uh, by winning this game. Two, one, Tetris. Tetris. And here we go. Game number four. Like I said here, this is to get into grand finals. This is a single elimination tournament. Whoever loses this gets $750. The winner with uh, $1,500. So uh, a lot on the line here between these two players. Mm -hmm. And Andy with a building on top of his well early on, taking that triple. So Nenu jumping up into an early lead now. Mm, nice back to back up. Oh, okay, that's the piece he needed right there, the L piece perfectly, and now he's back to the Tetris. And kind of an awkward situation now for uh, for Nenu over there. You can see he's got a little bit of an awkward build. He's gonna need another LJ piece, and again to fill that gap up. So it's just an awkward situation all around here. Yeah, he, he put a lot of weight on top of his well there. Yeah, but... but <laughs> Seems Got to be it. dealing with it well and uh, no. solved it like, you know, three clears. So, hey, whatever works. And Ooh, then it's totally. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what he decides to do here. He's waiting for the long bar. He's kind of put himself long bar reliant here. And now he's going to give up the chase a little bit on the side. Yep. There you go. 
perfect. And those back-to-back -back pieces will help. And he's kind of in a position now where he is ready to get back into this. If he can just stop being forced to cover up that 10th column okay. right now. Andy exactly just rained down a couple of Tetrises. Three Tetrises in a row for Andy, and he's jumped up into the lead now. 155,000 points to Nenu's 112. Yeah. No. But again, still very early. We're only at line 42 right now between these two players. We saw the crazy comeback Nenu was able to get last time. So, you know, anybody knows, Andy knows that no lead is safe right now. So yeah, um, Andy's still up by about a Tetris, banging down another one, but uh, Nenu's got the material yeah, built up, and uh, after that line clear, will become Tetris ready. So yeah, overall, just... it's a pretty close game. Oh, perfect timing! Got to clear that well, and now he's got to perform a tuck in, in there. If he can wait long enough for the piece, no, he'll just drop the square there. That'll clear it up. So, so far, Nenu has had to do a lot of cleaning. You can see right now his Tetris rate is only at 52%. But remember that game where he had the comeback, he was at like 20-some mm -hmm. percent at this point, And he brought it all the way back up to 50%, 50, like 7% to take it. So he is definitely not out of this yet. And to be fair, Andy, uh, his Tetris rate is only 6% higher right now. And he's only ahead by one Tetris at, with 19,000 uh, in the lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Andy doing some good clears just to keep his board clean and safe. But uh, for a while there, he was raining down Tetrises, and that's uh, kind of what helped him uh, maintain this lead here. Yeah. Two Tetrises now. Yeah, okay, both players seem to have gotten everything in order, and we're going to see them go back and forth at this point. Yeah, but even after raining all those Tetrises, the lead is only basically one Tetris, so, you know, Nenu is in a comfortable position to keep, at least for keeping pace right now. Interesting situation here for, oh, yeah. look at this! What, what great pieces for Nenu for that perfect tuck fix, and boom, Tetris for Nenu. And yeah, Andy's uh, built on top of his well, so he's going to take some singles that will allow Nenu to take the lead now by one Tetris, but 394,000 points to Andy's 373. But Andy, Andy firing does. back finally when he gets the long bar. We are neck and neck, very close in score right now. And Andy, and, uh, oh, he's in a and bad parity kind of situation right now. He, a lot of staircases and stuff. It's the odd parity, and you don't want that with your stack. And so he's cleaning, he's trying to clean it down right now. All right. And boom, Tetris, there you go. Neck and neck. And is go. he gonna go for a, oh, actually, yeah, yeah he's got himself well. a dirty right. Tetris set up, but the pieces are, oof. These are not good oh. pieces. Yeah, if he, if you got too greedy, it would have been a problem. Okay, yeah. Clear out those lines. Oh, but he still gets the center well Tetris <laughs> there for Andy, so nice. it paid off in the end. Uh, but yeah. I think Nenu, uh, without having to deal with such difficult placements, uh, has caught up and now has about a little bit more than a Tetris of a lead now. 515,000 points for Nenu, 478 for Andy. All right. And now needs a tuck right there. That's fine. Look at this drought that they're and that they're coming into. in the next uh, Tetris clear, uh, yeah, or the triple the, it does it. But he's gonna opt to go for the Tetris, and then uh, I think he tucked that in there, knowing he could yeah. turn it off. Oh, he's gonna yeah. actually go for row two. Boom, Tetris for Nanny on row two, and he's gonna transition. Boom, Tetris for Andy with that Tetris. Yep, and a 72,000 point lead right now, actually now down to 48,000 points. Uh, but again, same kind of situation as we saw earlier. Nenu has a significant uh, line lead here. So the lead is not, it's not a true lead at this point in time. Actually, he's caught up now. He's only down by four lines. And so they're basically neck and neck. I would say they're neck and neck, because look at that, 65 and 63 for Tetris rates here. So pretty neck and neck for the players. Mm -hmm. 
but awkward pieces. Menu, uh, having to do some yep. clearing off there of the stack there, off of his well, and uh, a couple of Oof. ears that gave him the wrong facing as a yep. there. Oof. Ooh. Okay. He really needed that long bar to go. Right, but he's right got it. There we go. The and, and to be fair, even while he was cleaning up, so was Andy. So these yeah. guys are extremely neck and neck right now. Again, it's it doesn't look like it via the score, but of course, with the uh, line lead right there, you can yeah. see that it's- Andy taking a triple there. So Andy playing a bit conservatively, setting up a tuck there, or is it, um, he doesn't look like he wanted to do that. And uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, I guess he's gonna turn that into a roof and burn it off to be able to get back in position. Okay, and then maybe range is Tetris, but he's got a really ugly play field there. He's got some poles yeah. that are developing, and he's going to have to take care of those before he scores again. This is Andy's chance to catch up. He's down 105,000 points. Nanu at 770, Andy at 667k. Boom, Tetris for Andy, starting to fight back the deficit now. Ooh, nicely done. So Nenu is burning down there. He's almost got it cleared out. But again, all this time spent cleaning this out is giving Andy the opportunity to try to catch up. But no, Andy is still down by 77,000. So even all that cleaning right there hasn't really come back to bite Nenu too much here. But these pieces are not working out for him. Uh, Andy banging down to Tetris. So now he's within two Tetrises. Um... Andy at 773 now, Nanu at 792, so he now he's now he's within one Tetris of uh, tying it up and uh, just waiting for the log bar. Boom! Tetris for Andy. And uh, Andy's got a slight lead and a neck and neck scoring difference here. And Andy took the lead now. Yep. 36,000 points ahead. Nanu now behind at 803 uh, for Nanu and 840 for Andy. And Nanu's gonna top out. Andy is gonna take that game and that match. There you uh, go, Andy playing so well right there at the end. This time he's the one doing the chase down. He gets it and sets up the household grand finals. And Nenu, brother versus brother is going to happen. Man, but Nenu, I mean, what story here for Nenu finishing tied in third place from Indonesia, the only international player, the only one of the only players that had to come back and take his pools from the loser's bracket, winning the final set twice. And here he is all the way in Indonesia, had to travel to his friend's house because his house lost power, moving positions here. What a storyline yeah. for Nenu. And this is, you know, yeah, just a, a great story and a great performance. You know, Nenu making top four. So, you know, de definitely uh, making back um, probably um, like the cost of sending the Nintendo over there and <laughs> fees and all that stuff. And uh, it's good to see that, uh, you know, Boom Tetris for Jeff uh, helping out in that transaction, uh, making a difference there. And uh, having, you know, a representative, a uh, world representative in our top four. Uh, yeah. Very strong one, very exciting to play, and just a joy to see Nenu play. And uh, now, we're, you know, the stage is set for that brother versus brother match, and uh, a lot of people have wanted to see that. Hello, hello! What a story! What what a last hour that you've had! Uh, take us through it, man. We want to hear all about this. Uh, uh, <laughs> the power goes out. Then what happens? Yeah, uh, I was watching. Uh, dog versus Huff, I think. And then on the second game, my power and and the whole neighbor just went out. It just died. <laughs> and then, yeah, I immediately uh, reported to the judge, to the Sean. And I contact one of my friends. Uh, his name is Kemal. Shout out to Kemal. Uh, what's, yeah, what's his name? Kemal. Kemal, nice. Shout out to yeah. Kemal in the chat. A dub for Kemal in the chat for helping out uh, Nenu because without Kemal, we wouldn't have even seen a semifinal. So that's awesome. So he was awake. Was he watching you or was he just, he just happened to be awake? Luckily, he just wake up. Oh, <laughs> what timing. So he yeah. just woke up and you call him and you're like, because, hey, bro, I got to come over. Yeah, because, because I... I came to his place like at 
6 a.m. I think around that, eh, or seven. I don't know. Yeah. Unbelievable. And so you had to pack. Like, did you have to pack the TV? We're, we were wondering what you had yeah. to pack. So you had to bring the CRT television. Also, how far? How far does Kemal live from you? Uh, it's it's like around 10 kilometer. I think. 10 kilometers. So what is that? Like six or seven, five, five to seven uh, miles. I can't do the math right now, but yeah, it's definitely I'm, a few I'm miles. Not using miles, so yeah, I can. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 10, 10 kilometers. I'm Canadian. I know 10 kilometers is pretty significant, <laughs> especially if you have all of that. So you got to the house and you set it all up. The internet is fine, and then you you yeah. compete. Like what a surreal story. So so let's talk about the semifinal. Obviously, uh, Pixel Andy's a formidable opponent. Now we get the brother versus brother final, but. How do you look back on it? Like, what do you make of your your performance in the semifinal? Yeah, so I I have played Andy like like four times, I think before four best of three before in other online competition, and I think we are on a tight record. So yeah, I expected uh, we push each other to the limit. So yeah, basically. I just hope I'm not topping out early. <laughs> I mean, you had a fantastic run. You were the only non-American representative <laughs> in this tournament this year. I'm actually very curious because you have such a great story, even aside from the power outage, getting to your friend Kemal's house to compete. You have a fantastic story, like the idea that even your Nintendo was gifted to you by Jeff Moore and his uh, wife Kim, and, and just the whole story of you getting into the community. I'm actually very curious: had this tournament been in person, if the pandemic wasn't happening, and if we were in Portland, would you have been able to make it? I mean, to be honest, I don't have the financial to do it. So I might not be able to if it's if it's in person. So yeah, it's 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 like uh, like lucky opportunity for me. Thank you. Uh, by the way, Sersos, uh, one of the community members, Sersos, uh, shipped me the cartridge and the game genie, and Jeff and Jeff and Kim uh, send me the console and everything. Yeah. So, so shout yeah, out to yeah, all of them. Yeah, That's amazing. Yes. Just Great. think about nice that. The idea life. that the community chips in for you to be able to play. And if we were in person, you may not have been able to come because you may not have been able to afford it. But here you are, one of the top four players in the world because we played it online. How does that feel to know that in the biggest classic Tetris tournament of the year, the world championship, you are the among the top four players in the entire competition? How does that feel? To say, what does it feel like to hear that? Uh, yeah, it feels unreal for sure. I, uh, it's beyond my expectation because I, uh, yeah. There's already people in chat saying, don't worry, we'll start a GoFundMe if you need to go to Portland in 2021. There's already a big community uh, saying, don't worry, we got you, fam. That's amazing. Uh, there's a lot of love for you in chat. So I'd love for you to just take an opportunity to address them and just 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 talk to your fans. You have a lot of them here watching right now. What would you like to say to them all? Uh, yeah, thank you for supporting me. I'm sorry I'm not able to put like a great show like double max out or some yeah something like that. Uh, yeah, thank you for all the. I know there must be a lot of Indonesian in chat. Yes, shout out to them for supporting me too. Yeah. Shout out. You are the, the, the first high profile Indonesian competitor that we've had in CTWC uh, and nobody will ever be able to take that away from you. Uh, Semi-finalist here in 2020. Nenu, thank you so much for your time and congratulations on your success. Thank you. So take us through. I mean, uh, there's been a lot of attention on this storyline understandably so we've never seen this in ctwc before where we have two brothers making it in the final how how far are you like how far are the rooms that you guys are playing in chad is curious oh uh we are literally like rooms next to each other like i can take <laughs> so like you'll be able to hear each other you'll be able to hear each other yeah. cheering if you win 
Yeah, so, like, I can hear him, you know, like, you know, like, happy that he won, or, you know, like, throwing his controller if he loses or something. So, <laughs> it's kind of a in-real-life spoiler. But yeah. So, so, Dog was mentioning, we talked to him earlier, and he said, you know, we're not really going to be talking to each other much, understandably so. <laughs> But yep. what, what's it like in the household? Like, you guys play Tetris often, obviously. Do you guys chirp at each other a lot? Like, what's the brother dynamic like? Uh, I mean, yeah, we do uh, brag to each other a lot and, you know, as competition. But also, you know, we have to make sure that we also support each other mm-hmm. so that, uh, you know, we can be ready for things, things like CTWC. We were really supporting each other to get to the finals. Well, it's going to be very interesting. I mean, the, the first, you basically have locked up the top two spots in the world championship in the same family, uh, which yeah. is pretty surreal to think about. Uh, there's a lot of people giving you praise in the chat, and they're, they're also very much looking forward to this matchup. Uh, preview it a little bit for us. What can we expect from Pixel Andy versus Dog for the world championship? Ooh, I mean, <laughs> it can really go anyway, right? Like, but, you know, expect to see some max outs, hopefully, you know? Hopefully, maybe, you know, a double max out, that'd be really insane. He mentioned uh, the personal best being the differentiator between you two. Do you agree? Does he have the edge on you just because of the PB? Well, I mean, I don't think he said that, but if he did, then I disagree. Uh, because, you know, the way that you stack, you don't need to be getting high 1.3s every single game, right? Consistent max out is enough to be, like, a lot of plays, you know, like the majority of plays. So just being consistent, uh, you, don't, you don't need a high PB. Fair play. Well, we look forward to it. We'll let you go and uh, get to your final preparations, Andy. Thanks for your time, and good luck in the final. All right, thanks. Now we have it. It's brother versus brother, and... Nanu wanted to throw a wrench in things, and we certainly uh, will remember his story very, very fondly. But at the end of the day, here we are, and their rooms are literally next to each other. Uh, (laughs) Could you have scripted it any better than that? All right. Okay, here we are. The storyline is completed. It is brother versus brother coming up, and that is, of course... What a great storyline. What a great storyline here. What Tetris fan... I mean, I guess... You know, maybe it really is just, you know, in the blood, you know, like in the genes here. (laughs) 